Hello, it's Mark here from excelofthegrid.com. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video that showed how you can get files from either SharePoint or OneDrive into Power Query. Now, a lot of people said to me, but that doesn't work with personal OneDrive files. How can we do that? Well, let's solve this in this video. Okay, so here we are inside Excel Online. Now, this Excel file has been saved into a personal OneDrive folder. So here's the folder. We can see this file here that's called My File, very cleverly named, I know. Now, when we use OneDrive for business, we can select that file, come up to Information in the top right, and if we scroll down, we'll see the path. And within there, there's a small button that we can click that enables us to copy that path. However, when we're using a personal OneDrive file, as you can see, that path doesn't exist in that place. Instead, we need to use an entirely different approach. So let's see how we can do this. So with my file selected, I'll click on the three dots and come down to Embed. It brings up this page asking us if we want to generate HTML code to embed this file. And it even says, note, Anyone who visits the blog or web page with this embedded file will be able to view it without signing in. Now, this is a critical difference between OneDrive for Business and OneDrive Personal. For OneDrive for Business, you have to be signed in. And from that, you can share that file and allow other people to have access. But in OneDrive Personal, using this method, we generate a code that anybody who has access to this code can view this file. I'm going to go ahead and click Generate. So that's created some code. I'm just going to copy that code. And then I'm going to come across and come into Excel. And then I'm going to paste this HTML code. So I've pasted that into there. Now there's lots of this that we don't need. So I'm going to take everything from the start, including that double quote. And I also want to take everything from the end, everything after the EM equals two. I'll press delete on that. Now the other bit we need to change is where it says embed. We're gonna change that word embed to the word download. Then also we have this question mark CID. We're gonna take all of that away up to the re -SID. So CID equals all the way up to the start of RESID. I'm going to delete that and then press return. Okay, this is the URL that we need. So I'm gonna copy that, come across to data from web. Okay, the web connector is now opened up. I'll paste in that URL and then click okay. Now Power Query is gonna churn away on this. It's gonna go and get the file from OneDrive. Right, we've now got to the navigator window. So I'll select my data and then click transform data. Right, I'm just gonna change types on here. So I'll make both of those text. And age can be a whole number. I'll just go close and load, close and load two. I'll load that to a table on the existing worksheet. I'll put that below the URL and then click okay. So that query has now updated. I'm now gonna head back into my Excel online file, make some changes to that, and then we will refresh to make sure that this process is working correctly. Okay, so I have my file up here. So Mark Jackson, let's say he's 32. Now I'm gonna come back into Excel, just click refresh all. There you go, I had to click refresh all a couple of times there just because uh, that data hadn't yet synced uh, with OneDrive online. So we can now see Mark Jackson inside that table. Now you might be thinking, how am I supposed to know that? And the truth is, I didn't know it either. It seems that this method actually originates from within inside Microsoft, who responded to a forum question asking how to connect to a personal OneDrive file. So all I'm doing is sharing that information with you so that you can then share it with others. Now, if you want to learn how to use Power Query more and how to automate your work, then check out my training academy over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. 
Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.